We've always had room in our hearts for film and TV Not just on Netflix, but tape and disc and theaters Also God forbid that they take it all away And leave us nothing to broadcast to loyal listeners We'll binge watch every single movie So you don't have to, what else are we here for? Coming to you every week, listen to us while you're busy Luckily we forgot to grow up Hey everybody, it's Craig. Hey, it's Scott. Hey, it's Andrew. Welcome to episode number 12 of the Forgot to Grow Up podcast, the very last, we promise, episode of 2017. <laughs> on this not week's the last episode, of all of them. We're, not, we're not even pulling a switcheroo. We're not moving this one around to like three weeks ago. Time travel, never know. On this episode, we are going to discuss the movies of 2017. Notice, not the best movies, not the worst movies. We're just going to talk about all the movies because here it forgot to grow up we did not only forget to grow up we forgot to stop living in the past so we're going to start it off with the movies that we're not quite sure should have been made question the uh, the entire reason why they would have come out andrew we were talking about this ahead of time and you had a, a name for the for the segment what was that i'm calling it why dude why because that's exactly how I feel about some of the movies made this year. Not all of them. There's a lot of good movies. There was a lot of but, good movies. Um, there was a lot some of stinkers, of too. <laughs> There's a handful where I was like, mm, I should have just left it alone. Yep. I just shouldn't have made it. Studios got greedy a couple times, and it yeah. was like, what, 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 why? Why did we need a Pirates 5? Did you really need a third <laughs> Thor yes. movie? Oh, don't... That, what? Come on, son. <laughs> Come on, son. <laughs> now I just started a... Sp- Spark some like controversy. I know you like that. Don't even get me started. Anybody no, I'm like Transformers Five. Anybody <laughs> who's listened to the podcast in the past couple weeks knows I love that movie. So anyway, continue. It's true. Hey man. But Andrew, what's the first uh, movie on your list? The things? first movie on my list, I've got The Disaster Artist, which Wait. is ba- based off of uh, The Room. Yeah. Oh. The making of The Room. Yeah, the making of The Room. Yes. That seems like a movie that no one in their right fucking mind needed to see, hear of, or or know about. This is one we're going to disagree on. Yeah, I actually kind of thought that looked like other... a good idea. Have you ever seen The Room? No. Yeah, I have. Aren't you curious as to how that garbage got made? <laughs> no, I'm <laughs> curious as to how it got sponsored. But I don't want to know, like... Sponsored? What do you mean sponsored? Or, like, like how someone said, yeah, okay, here's some money, go make it. Greenlit? Well, oh, he, he used his own money. Oh, did he? See, Tommy even, Wiseau, that's the even from, part about this. Even it's, from there, it shouldn't... He financed $6 no. million dollars of his own money, which no one knows where it came from. He yeah. always told people that he sold goats. <laughs> that's what everybody asked him where he got his money. He's like, I sold goats. <laughs> see, it's... No, nope, I can't do it. It's nope. sketchy. Okay, I can see why you... That, the, the whole premise of, yeah. of the room... And the disaster artist. Mm-hmm. Don't need him in my life. Get out of here. That's that's okay. I'll I watch anything James Franco, so I'm see, I see it. I haven't seen it yet, so I can't we were, defend it too we much. We were talking about Kristen Bell before she's in it. Yeah, she's just uh she, I can't remember what she does in it. Well I'm pretty sure so's uh what's his face? That guy we were talking about his comedy show a couple weeks ago on the cast. Oh man. He's uh the guy who did the Oh man, forty-year-old, not forty-year-old. Judd Apatow. Judd Apatow, yeah, that guy. Yeah, I'm I think sure he's, he's like a it, yeah. director in it. Yeah, and then his brother, James Franco's brother in it, Dave Franco and yeah. Seth Rogen. So Brian like, Cranston, Sharon Stone, Adam Scott, Allison. Yeah, yeah they have a lot. Of, there's a lot of like random like uh, cameo, like See, yeah, yeah. cameos in I, it. I just can't do it. Like especially like watching like the pre like uh, the preview at Cineplex where they're like, wouldn't it be awesome if the movie about the making of the worst movie ever made started making awards, or winning awards? And I was like, no, that'd be fucking ridiculous. How shitty would the human race be if we started giving awards for that shit? Well, it's well, it's more of a biopic than a movie. Isn't I, it? I, I can't, I can't do it, man. I can't do it. You can't endorse it. I can't. No. Nope. That's that's. I'm, I'm gonna break the tie here. Yeah, uh, I think it looks good. I think I thought it looked like a good idea. <laughs> Sorry, nope, Andrew. I can't. I just, no. I just I can't do it, man. No, I get. I can see why you would be opposed to it. I, I would rather I sit like... through a My Little Pony fucking daily special where it's on all day. Should I a watch marathon. That? 
I'd watch marathon. That and I'm sure there's a channel on some satellite program. I would rather that watch that. that than sit through fucking like the two hour nonsense in my mind that oh, is I the think disaster. I don't think artist. it's quite two hours. I don't think it's that long. Anything longer that. than two minutes is too much for me. <laughs> so you couldn't even make it through the trailer. <laughs> no, fuck that. I stand. I stand by my my swearing on this one. I can see why you have this stance. I think me and Craig have more of a curiosity about it than you do. You're you're more just opposed to the fact that this movie ever got made. Yeah, I both. love that this guy made his own movie for six million dollars, and it's just garbage. And that's the but kind it's also of thing you need to make a it's, movie it's about. It's good garbage. Yeah, it's Ugh. funny garbage. It's softcore porn garbage. I I certainly <laughs> wouldn't watch. How dare the, you put softcore porn? I would in not. I wouldn't watch the making. It of was the softcore porn. Did you not watch the first half of it? There's three sex scenes in the first 35 no, minutes. No, I'm saying, how, how dare you throw that, like, the good name of softcore porn <laughs> in, in with that into garbage. The room. The good name of How dare you? Porn. How dare Dragging you associate those? Dragging it through those. the mud alongside the room. <laughs> <laughs> how dare you, sir? <laughs> A duel at dawn. Yes, uh, let's let's move past the disaster artist, because I, I don't think any of us have actually seen it yet. No, so I'm saying, I'm saying, get yes. out. Okay, on, what's, on the what's, disaster oh, artist. What's the next one? That, no, that get was out. the next one. That's Pay the attention. next one. <laughs> get out? You didn't like Get Out? I haven't seen it, so I don't know. What's no, your problem it, with Get Out? I don't know. It was just it was just too weird for me. It was just it was just oh, one okay. that I haven't seen it, so I I have no comments on it. Like it, I, mean, I know it was popular. To me it was like this know. weird hybrid like comedy horror movie. But it wasn't like your my traditional like comedy horror, like, you know, scary yeah. movie or I think Stuff from like what that, I heard, it was like supposed to be like a satire of yeah, a it was horror just, film. If I, it, I, I haven't seen it. Like I said, I just that's I've heard some stuff, but go on. I don't know. It it just seemed weird. I mean, okay. the so you whole did, you don't know whole, why they made it. Yeah, another another one where I was kind of like, yeah, it didn't need to be made. It was Jordan Peele. I don't Jordan know Peele. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I wasn't sure if you knew that. So it, I could, like I said, I haven't seen it yet, but I could see why, like it being weird from him. Plus, um, as like as a white guy, the whole kind of racial undertone, I was kind of like, I feel uncomfortable watching this movie. I am Irish, so my people were oppressed too, but I still feel guilty. That's that's fair. I don't want to get into that at all. I didn't <laughs> see the movie. Now I'm not going to see the movie. It's all race-driven, so they lost my money. Why is everything going to be about race nowadays? Tell me about a movie that isn't race related, Andrew. What's next on your list? Well, um, I don't I hope know. It's I just not race say related. That. <laughs> <laughs> that would um, be a terrible segue. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, this Christmas, um, there's probably some bad moms out there who are oh, going to see Bad Moms Christmas. And you're curious why they made that? Yeah, it, they think... should have just left it with the first one. Like, I, I get that they're just trying to capitalize, yeah. but. I. No. I can only not disagree with this because during our Christmas pitch, I said I wanted all comedies that had only one movie to make a Christmas sequel. So oh, okay. I, can't, so you, I can't argue with that. You can't that, be biased. You but I know what you it. mean. Because <laughs> like, I, see, I didn't see the first one. So <laughs> Even if, if it wasn't a Christmas sequel, yeah, I feel like they should have just left wide. it alone and said, you know, we made some money off this. We had our laughs. Let's go. Well, isn't it like the same cast that has made like five other women comedy all women comedies that are like all exactly the same movie really that i don't know yeah. any of them because i haven't seen any of them because they all all the trailers look exactly the same to me i think that's another Kristen bell one isn't it i think they're all are <laughs> yeah <laughs> damn i'm really shitting on her right now even She's, though right before the podcast we love i was her. very pro Kristen bell yes I'm, I'm still very pro Kristen bell I, just, I haven't seen the bad moms one so i don't know certain like when it's promoted as like an all women like comedy i'm just like well like, why do you have to put that label on it? Why can't it just be a comedy? Yeah. We don't have, we don't like say all male comedy. It happens sometimes, and everyone's like, "Oh, it's sexist." Da da da. And I agree that is sexist, but it's, that's it's just like before when we were talking about uh, the Ocean's movies. Exactly. I mean, Julia Roberts was there. She's a fucking superstar. She should count. Yeah. Exactly. She was one of the 13. She was. She was the 12. She had to pretend to be Julia Roberts. You know how yes. hard that is for an actress for, to who have is to pretend Julia to be Roberts? herself? What? You <laughs> paid millions of dollars for that? <laughs> oh, man. If only. If only. Yes. Anyways, going to throw that movie right into the jigsaw, cut it up. Yeah. Uh, the next movie on my list is Jigsaw. You spend Jigsaw, far too much time on your transitions. I feel like all this, all your list is transitions. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's working so far. 
Yeah, I'm liking that, it so far. Yeah. <laughs> this movie I haven't seen. No. I because really as we Hall recall Souls. back to the Halloween episode, I'm a total puss. Yep. But we I don't know. Throw I, up people. It just <laughs> seems to, to me, and we're still afraid of the dark. Yes. I, I love that night show. Night. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, I feel like they just didn't need to make it. I mean, they've already made so many Saw movies. Yeah. Like, anything after Saw 3, for me, it was kind of just overkill. Yeah, I have not... I tried to watch one Saw movie once. Maybe I want to throw up. Never watched any other ones. So I'm <laughs> yep. on your side for Jigsaw. Yep. I don't know why they want to try and torture me some more. <laughs> That's what they're trying to do. They're trying to make me like be flipping through channels one day, and I accident. I don't have cable. But if I did, <laughs> hypothetically, I could have accidentally select that and then i'd die because i would see that disgusting stuff and it would traumatize me yeah you'd be flipping through the channels you don't look at the guide and all of a sudden you're watching this movie like oh this looks interesting and that's it and then some dudes hung up in a freaking classroom by hooks and i i I think it's me and i die because i have a heart attack (laughs) and then you're a dead man and then i'm dead because you tell no tales and i tell no tales holy transition <laughs> which brings us into Pirates, Pirates of the Caribbean, yes. Dead Men Tell No Tales, mm-hmm. which I am a very heavy fan of the first three yes, in that I series. I didn't mind the fourth. It, it was wasn't okay. it wasn't the necessary. Fourth? I didn't mind it. This one yeah. for me, mm-hmm. it was just they were just trying to make too much out of Captain Jack Sparrow. I agree. Give me some Kira Knightley. I'm down, but they couldn't even bring her back. No, they couldn't afford it apparently. Yeah. I don't know what she's doing nowadays, but they and, couldn't afford it apparently. And they brought in all of forty-five seconds of uh, Orlando Bloom, which I I really liked right off the bat. I, I was like, I enjoyed, this yeah. fucking guy. This, but yeah. then I was like, mm, didn't yeah. need this. The whole movie, I I agree. I love the pirates, and I I'm like a half like half want more, half don't. Like I want more of the universe. I'd rather than like do like a young Jack Sparrow TV show or something like that. That would be pretty cool, yeah. Uh, instead, like, as opposed to, like, us, like, now we lost, the, but they lost that potential with this one because they spoil all all the things you could have told by, like, giving them all it in one second in the freaking movie. Well, what, what past I'm, flashback, and I'm like... One of my weird issues with it, and it's not even an important part of the movie, yeah. it's just that his dad is Keith Richards, mm-hmm. which makes sense because Keith Richards will never die. Yeah. So he'll never have to tell a tale. Mm-hmm. And then I, oh, fuck, was it? Was it Paul McCartney? Some English. So. Paul McCartney yeah. was his uncle or something like that. Yeah, I think it was. Like, it was just seemed they're like, oh, let's just find British rock stars and make them his relatives just yeah. for no fucking reason. I remember reason. reading they did that, like, really intentionally. Like, that they're like, yeah, we're going to we're gonna go along that same route. And I'm like, oh. what? Don't, like, tell, don't tell me you're going to do like it. Like, Keith Richards <laughs> kind of makes sense because, like, his he whole same drunk, too. cokehead, heroin addict never gonna die thing like it looks like him paul and mccartney be- is just a dude and i can believe that like his fucked up spur made jack sparrow <laughs> yes, I, that's true like jack sparrow had to come from some fucked up place yep yeah like, his, his sperm swam in backwards that's why <laughs> yeah. it was confused exactly on like top of a wheel a wooden wheel yeah. just in case we have any uh, kid listeners out there please don't go tell your mummy that's the next movie on my list. The of mummy. course it is, because everything you say is a transition. <laughs> transition. Yeah, I the haven't mummy, seen the mummy yet, but we've I haven't either, like we've talked about. Me we talked neither. about this movie before. This has been but a list of movies I've never seen. This this movie just they should have just left it as it was. It didn't need to be, it didn't need to happen. Or if you're gonna make it, don't get Tom Cruise involved. Yeah, this turned into way too much of a Tom Cruise movie, and that's why I haven't seen it yet. Because yeah. like, I like Tom Cruise, but when he does Tom Cruise movie, he's not pretending that he's trying to do a different movie. Because that's when it always fails. When like if he does to a spy movie, totally movie. fine. Yeah, because yeah, that's a Tom Cruise movie. Like even Valkyrie? <laughs> Sweet. But no, once okay, you bust yeah. him into The Mummy? No. No, 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 no. no. And like, I don't, like, don't want to see you run. No. <laughs> but he runs super fast. Make a Stephen Hawking movie and have Tom Cruise in that. I would watch that, but then they'd probably still have a flashback to him being able to run or something <laughs> when he was a kid, just cause. Just cause, yeah. Just cause he needs to run at some point. You're just, yeah. just be, you're just jealous yeah. of Tom Cruise's form. <laughs> See, I'm actually, every not. time he, every time he runs in a movie, I just so think of uh, the Family Guy cutaway. Yes, that's the where, only uh, thing I can think of where he's like tiny, right? No, no, no. Well, no. that one too. But I was thinking though, they have one cutaway where they bring it in. Like, this is even crazier than the uh, 
then the rumors going around about why Tom Cruise runs in his movies, and he has like a gay thought. And he's like, "Get away from me, gay thoughts!" And he runs. <laughs> and he just runs away. It'd be a very Scientology type thing to do. Yeah. So that's my list of movies. Why, dude? Why? What do you guys have? Uh, well, I most of mine were similar to yours. The only other one I have would would be uh, probably triple x3 or man yeah, i forgot that movie came out this year yeah it was right at the beginning of the year and i don't i don't know why they bothered i know my <laughs> brother was super hyped up to see it because i called him one night and Your he was would be. and he was just he was crushing that one and the second one with ice cube yeah so no i'm just no 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 thank you just no no. Uh, yeah. <laughs> why, um, dude? Why? Yeah. Why? Why? And the only other one I had that uh, oh, it was Transformers Five. That's what it was. I, can, I, was I can't like, agree I with really that, agree but with I that. know what where you're saying. I, I haven't I watched it yet, though. In my defense, but I'm, I kind of checked out at like after the fourth one, really. Yeah, you're honest. saying there's there's nothing special about it. I just love the Transformers movies. I love them in principle. I just want it's just to the different. story. I want them to be a little different. Yeah. I haven't got to the fifth one yet, so I do want to get to it. I hate that I put it on this list, but it's kind of like, like especially like one of the funny things is the two uh, Transformers five and uh, Pirates five. Both of those sequels actually performed worse than their fourth predecessor worldwide. Right. That's because yeah, so that's, they're at this point beating the dead horse. Yeah, exactly, and I was kind of like, I kind of felt the same as everybody else with that. I was just like. Yep, I didn't see them in theaters. I haven't rushed to go watch them. Like, Pirates 5 I watched maybe, like, two weeks ago. Uh, and I still haven't gotten to Transformers 5. I will get to it eventually because I'm curious it, what they yeah. did with... It's it's nothing special, but I, yeah. I did enjoy it. Okay. Is it better than 4? Mm, equal. Same footing. Okay. Well, I'm off next week, so we'll get to it. Okay. You <laughs> may need week. to you need, may need to break it up over that, you know, that whole 8 yeah, days. Yeah, it might happen over a couple nights, yeah. We'll see. It depends on how hard it is for me to load online too, because I ain't like paying for that or anything. We <laughs> just always kidding. acquire just our kidding. movies in a very legal manner. No, I will acquire Universal. every other movie legally, just not not Transformers Five. Oh, <laughs> I'm throwing okay. that out right now. Okay. <laughs> no, and I'm kidding. We we soon. only follow the law. We only follow the law. We I only use Netflix and Crave. And we're getting sued. That's trick. <laughs> not me, not me. I have I have a 900 plus movie collection. I own my stuff. All right. So, anyways, Craig, what do you have on this list? I am going to make mine up right now. Nice. Uh, <laughs> because it. I was not prepared for this part at all. So, the three movies that occurred to me as I'm looking at the list of of, of movies that came out this year, Cars 3. Yes. <laughs> Why? I agree. That's yeah, all I'm going to say like, about what? that. Well, obviously, because kids will drag their yeah. parents out to the movies. They make money. Which, I get it. it. Make, but, make Incredibles 2. But exactly. Have that out already. It should be out already. <laughs> the The next one on my list would be the Emoji Movie. Yes. Because, yeah. I forgot yep. about that. Yep, be, that's stuff. Yep. Because I think even Andrew can agree that The Room is a better subject. The making yes, of I, The Room is a better subject than little ASCII characters. On, the, or, sorry, Unicode characters on your phone. The Emoji Movie? Just strikes me as the same as Sausage Party, like a total like. It's the fuck comes up with this version like, of the Sausage Party. Like, do you think someone was just looking at their phone one day, just super baked, like? You should make a movie about this. Whoa! Someone sent me a high five. You, you're, <gasps> almost, you're almost. This right. is a movie. I actually saw. I actually watched a video about this, about like why this garbage was made. Uh, and it was from uh, Screen Junkies, and they, what they said was that because it takes so long for something to get made in Hollywood sometimes, this idea was probably like five years ago when emojis first came out. Like when emojis mm -hmm. were actually a popular thing in pop culture, like everyone was first starting to discover emojis. Now and that's when that was the idea. And it just took, GIFs. Yeah, and it just took so long for Hollywood to do anything because Hollywood's just useless unless it involves superhero movies. <laughs> and even then, and then they, and then they beat then the dead horse. Miss. Exactly, right? So it's like... That's why it was such a shit ball. Cause it's like a, it's a five years out of place, and B, it's like that's also why we think. Like, well, not I would have always thought why, but it's also like that's an additional like that amount of time out of like face. It's like kind of like if they made a Candy Crush movie right now. It's like Candy Crush is literally three so he's three years ago. Is although I gotta say I totally watched a Farmville movie just to see how the fuck they made it work. 
that I'd be okay with because that's kind of curious. And there's enough like million people who still play that online yeah. that they could make a movie. It's just no one's no one's invested in, in their emojis <laughs> and wanting to know what their life's about. Which I've seen like a summary of it, and I don't give a shit about their lives. <laughs> you don't give a shit emoji. No, I don't. Even though I like that Sir uh, Patrick Stewart got some money to do that. He probably phoned it in literally. Yeah. See, <laughs> I did exactly what we're doing. Exactly right what we're now. doing now. <laughs> Record it from the house on via Skype, and that's it. Whatever. Yeah, he was probably in his pajamas. Took him an afternoon. He's getting he paid be better than we are, though. Shit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> which is why I give him some respect because it's all I'm aspiring to do. To get paid. The to talking to only other. The only other movie that I have on my list that might end up being an unpopular decision is uh, Captain Underpants. I haven't seen it yet. I'm, I thought I bought it, but I can't find it anywhere, so I must not have I haven't it. seen it either, but I liked Captain Underpants when I was a kid. And yes. not once Dave Pilkey. in my entire life did I think, you know what they need? A Captain Underpants movie. Why? Because See, not everything needs a movie. It definitely didn't need Kevin Hart and Ed Helms to voice characters in it. Yeah, no. Like, it should have been something that they did on, like, Teletoon or something like that. Yeah, it definitely should have been a lot less. Have, like, a direct-to-TV Teletoon yeah. movie. That I would have been okay with. Or, like, a TV series. Like, yeah. a short TV series yeah. where they, like, visit each of his small books. Because they were very small. Yeah. Well, I, I, can re I can read one on the shitter. I specifically yeah. remember reading one. I think it was uh, number five. The, the teacher with, like, the crazy hand hair. Um, I remember them a lot better than I do. Yeah, I, yeah. no kidding. It's I, been I, I remember. I remember reading that one on the can in like mm -hmm. the sixth grade. No, it would, yeah, it would have been the sixth grade. And uh, I, we used to have this thing where like we'd read it, and then we'd get like points, for, like a dollar per page, into like this fake little bank book. Oh, nice. Which we then go buy someone's junk that a parent donated. Nice. So That's like I would, just, I would just I would just crush. Education yeah. Milton. Yeah, I would just crush the That's Captain the Underpants books. That's to read, books. though. Like, yeah. Like, I had a class where we did something similar to that, and that made me do so much fucking homework. <laughs> like, yeah. I would do homework every fucking day because I would get, like, five imaginary dollars that we got to use in an auction at the end of the month for, like, four items. <laughs> and and they'd just be stuff from, like, the Scholastics catalog. That's Pretty not much. worth dick all. Yeah. Well, like sometimes a, like have a something squeezy okay. thing. Like, one time I got, like, a $25 watch, so that was Ooh, pretty badass. That's was, baller, yeah. Yeah, but then it broke, so. Fuck. <laughs> that was my own wasn't worth the 25 had, bucks. Well, no, we had monkey bars at my school, and I smashed at least 10 watches on that in, like, four years of elementary school, because I like Man. monkey bars. Scott, but this is totally... Styling. <laughs> not violent, just acting. No, styling. <laughs> oh, styling. With I thought the you said watches. violent. No, not violent. <laughs> I thought you were just assuming I was breaking my watch off of people. And I'm like, no, I was <laughs> no. on the monkey bars. <laughs> no. I don't have time for your shit. <laughs> Bam. Get out of my way. <laughs> that does sound like something I would do. Anyways, back to movies. I like that as a what better movies? story. That's, that's <laughs> yeah. what I'm going to make yeah. a movie about. Yes, violent, that would be better than The violent Room. Violent Scott the Watch Smasher. Problem solved. I was going to say we'll call it Give Scott Room. <laughs> Give, Scott. <laughs> Give Scott lots of room. Yeah. At least an arm's <laughs> length. The sequel would be me on the Ooh. bus. <laughs> Just be like, get out of my way! <laughs> I'll watch tag, off here! This is my stop! <laughs> yeah. The tagline will be, hour hand, minute hand, Scott's hand. second hand, Scott's backhand. <laughs> no, 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 hour hand, minute hand, second hand, backhand. Yes, Problem there solved. we go. <laughs> Boom. Hey, listen, Hollywood, this is the Scott edition. <laughs> Who knew that we would end up being creative on this episode? <laughs> not us, not well, us. Well, we're all quite tired, so. <laughs> yes. Uh, Moving we, on. Yeah, should we get to what Movies we Movies that we intend to watch. Intend to watch? Okay, We have I good like intentions. We have good Craig, intentions. why don't you start this list off? I'm just going to yeah. be real quick. Okay. Murder on the Orient Nothing. Express for obvious, for obvious reasons. I second Wonder that. Woman because I'm slow. Wait, did you say you haven't watched Wonder Woman? I haven't seen Wonder Woman. <laughs> what? That's crazy. You I didn't rush that. out and see it after I had my crazy experience? No. I love that Craig hasn't seen it. I don't oh, know why. Wait, wait till we get to movies. Day. Wait till that we get to movies. Every woman that we in like. the world has seen this movie, but Craig was like, no, I haven't got to it yet. Okay, <laughs> Craig, can you do me a favor? Can you just watch out. Batman versus Superman before you watch Wonder Woman? I haven't seen that either. 
You've seen Justice League, but you haven't seen two out of the three predecessor movies. At this pace, I'll probably it's see Aquaman Now they're prequels first. for yeah. him. Yeah, <laughs> they're just prequels for him now. It's like, it's like <laughs> yeah. they didn't even come first. They're just like, oh, they throw it back oh, now. That's like, how it was it came out first. That's why oh, that's Superman how they know was dead. I get it. <laughs> it's like you watched A New Hope, and now you're going back to watch the other ones. Well, that would be how I did it, but yes. Um, I think so, so did it. I haven't seen Wonder Woman. Uh, surprise. Um, I, <laughs> Very. I intend to see Logan Lucky because I thought that looked like a fantastic movie. Yes. I'm curious and about that as well. I want to see Baby Driver. Same. Yep, those I'm are two, two that are on my list. And yeah, that's it. That's, well. I, went through the, I went through the top 100 grossing this year, and those are the only ones that I could find that I was like, yeah, I need to see that. Oh. Well, I've got a lot more than that that yes. I'm kind of so curious about. Just, you want to just right to, in? well, before we, before we move on, just to add a little bit more hate to my name, uh, yeah. that means Spider-Man Homecoming did not make the list. Like, I, like you haven't seen it I haven't it seen or? it, and I don't intend to. Oh. It's, um, don't <laughs> rush out and see it. If you watch it, all the power to like, you, but I kind of get why Craig make hasn't because he's probably seen the other ones and he's like, I've seen enough Spider Man. So. I yeah, I'm Spider Man yeah. out. Yeah, I get that. I was just like, if they like made that. another Iron Man movie, I wouldn't go see that either. Stop that's, it. That's weird, but okay. No, I get that. I get it, Craig. <laughs> Fuck's wrong with you, man. <laughs> I get it. Craig's the oddball out here. It's fine. <laughs> I have to balance it. Two out of three it's, it's ain't true. bad, Marvel. It's true. Otherwise, we just spend hours talking, <laughs> talking about. about the nuances of Iron Man three. Exactly. Yeah, and week to week superhero shows. Maybe they'll be able to spin off a podcast without you, Craig. Yeah. <laughs> I'm kidding. Good luck we editing figured out it. this technical <laughs> stuff. Yeah, I can't edit. I, I can do the videos. It's cool, man. Okay. We're halfway there. There we go. <laughs> Anyways, should I should I get to my yes, list? Yes, do your list. Absolutely. Dive right in. To get to? Okay, so some of the ones I still want to get to are like, uh, Baywatch, because I'm curious as to how garbage it was. Man, I um, forgot that movie came out this year. It's actually not that bad. Okay. It it's terrible. it's it's pretty funny. Like okay. it's not it's not like a, oh my god uh, I'm gonna piss my pants my gut hurts. Yeah. Funny, but it is a like as a humorous kind of fun movie. Okay, I'm I'm always down for a fun movie. Like I feel like fun movies sometimes get a little hate on them because they don't get credit for like being anything more than just an enjoyable yeah. couple. It's, hours it's a time waster you, is what it is. Yeah, because. And, like I get like some movies you'll never go back to, but it's like you know sometimes I don't want sometimes I don't need a movie I'll go back to. I just want a movie, a new movie that I can watch for two hours that just has nothing to do with anything. Time so wasters are good movies. Yeah. So Baywatch is the definitely time waster one I want to get to. Uh, Ghost in the Shell because uh, I love Scarlett Johansson. Fast Eight because I feel like I'm slightly obligated to watch Man, that eventually. I forgot that one came up this year too. That was. April, I believe. Yeah, I'm not. Yeah. I've never got into it. I mean, April once 14th. you have eight movies in one franchise, fuck off. I was off. gone at five, technically. My dad yeah. really loved them when I was growing up, so I've seen the first three uh, more times than <laughs> yeah. I've ever loved to admit. Um, so, man, maybe you're I'm maybe you're you're related to my brother. I saw Too I Fast, Too <laughs> Furious at the drive-in in Welland, or Thorland, or wherever it is. Yeah, I remember that. It scarred me for life. <laughs> I'm terrified of that. rats. Yeah, the second one's pretty, like, <laughs> intense. Um, but next, uh, oh, Split. I haven't got to watching Split yet. I haven't seen Split Split yet either. Me neither. Uh, yeah, that was uh, It wasn't on my list, but. Yeah, I think that was February. Uh, the Founder so. was another one I haven't got to yet. Well, uh, what's that one? I don't think I've heard Michael of that Michael Keaton uh, is, starts, it does the McDonald's story. Oh, right. Oh. Uh, yeah, the I've never McDonald's. even heard of it. Yeah, it's on Netflix I gotta write now. that shit down. That one's, yeah, on Netflix, yeah, that's the one that keeps it. showing up on Netflix that I yeah, keep so it's going Michael past. Yeah, so Michael Keaton, he's uh, the guy, so he, he, there was, I don't know if you guys know the story of McDonald's, but I worked there so long, I have to know it, um, but it's just about, like, uh, the guy who kind of turned McDonald's into what it is, because it was at first, it was just these two brothers, the McDonald's brothers had just one burger place, and then this dude who was, like, a traveling salesman, that's Michael Keaton's character. Oh, it's got in. Nick Offerman in it. I don't know well, then now I'm watching it. <laughs> yeah, I just added it to my list live on the Forgot to Grow Up podcast. Me too. Except we're not live. <laughs> well, it is well, live. Live at the man. time. <laughs> no, that was, that was a joke to another podcast, actually. <laughs> Why you gotta say that? <laughs> it's just a thing. Anyways, but yeah, so I've been meaning to get to that because um, I'm just curious and I love Michael Keaton. Uh, Baby Driver, like you guys had said. Uh, 
Dunkirk because I feel like I'm obligated. Yeah, it is. Yep. Like getting to war movies. I definitely, definitely it's recommend Dunkirk. Calling, calling it a war movie is a little bit harsh. That's fair. I just call anything that takes place during World War Two a war that's, movie. That's fair. <laughs> and that involves soldiers. That's fair. I, I can see how you get there, but but <laughs> yeah. a lot of the time, a lot of the time you would well at least I associate war movie with a ton of action and and lots of guns. Ooh, see. That's where me and you slightly differ. Like, yeah. All the ones I can think you of. You just think not of enough action. You just you just think of. Well, I'm thinking like Saving Private Ryan. They don't shoot enough people in that. <laughs> I haven't seen it's, enough of it's Saving too Private Ryan. Wait, don't. I obviously haven't seen enough. Don't of Saving they Private kill Ryan. like everything in Saving Private Ryan? At the first, the, eventually. The I'm first just saying, like through bunch the of the movie, thing, it could have used a little bit violent. more. Oh man, that was. <laughs> but I also haven't seen it in a lot of time. I'm not. I'm not hating on Saving Private Ryan. It was the first one that came out. Side track moment. How do you feel about Passion Dale? Oh, I've never seen that. I didn't like that one. That was garbage. Oh, fuck we that We saw that movie. in school, remember? Yes, yes. <laughs> was... yes. Let's, not, let's not talk about what we're going to see that, because that led to something. Yeah, yeah it definitely wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so the next on my list is uh, Valerian and the Thousand Planets thing. I'm okay. kind of curious. I heard it was shit, but I'm, it was me yeah, and the guy just... who made the fifth element, and I love the fifth element, so I'm kind of curious about it. Even though the two who are supposed to be like a couple in it, I think look like brother and sister so i'm a little weird yeah. out by that and i'm not a fan like, of her her eyebrows are way too big yes her, like yeah and him he just i'm confused as to how old either of them are too because i'm like sometimes i'm like you look 30 sometimes you look 12 and i'm like I'm i don't want to see enchantress mm-hmm. and harry osborne together in the same movie no don't, don't want to see it i'm just curious about it more about everything else that's not them in it so that's what we're gonna focus on the, the spectacular visuals but i also haven't got to it yet so I'll and rihanna go. yeah and rihanna doing some changey stuff i love rihanna yeah. riri uh and then i have atomic blonde uh dark tower and i uh, forgot dark tower came out this year too yeah. i've heard sh- i heard it shit but i'm I so it psyched shit too. i'm just curious see it now that you mention it yeah and then because uh, i love idris elba yes and my last one was Hitman's Bodyguard and The Disaster Artist, and Greatest Showman. Sorry, I keep my list keeps getting longer. I thought and, I thought that was honestly I thought that ding was like Craig saying, "Hey, oh, uh, that's hot man, dogs. we oh. need." <laughs> I thought that was Craig going, and time's up, and segments Will, over. Will's making dinner. <laughs> nice. Uh, but yeah, so the last two on my list were Murder at the Orient Express, The Disaster Artist create a showman and then jumanji actually i forgot about jumanji okay so you got i got a few that i want to get yeah to, but I you took off it. like half my list oh so well, you can you know i'm sure you got some more <laughs> yeah mine consists of jumanji nice uh the greatest showman i took a couple off from before and i regret yeah. it because now i forget which ones they were um american made okay which i've my uncle told me it was really good uh wind river same thing i've heard it's a great movie that's one with uh, Jeremy Renner and, um, okay. and what's, oh, her what's her name? The Olsen yeah. sister. Yeah. Doesn't Elizabeth Olsen? One. They're the same person. Continue. Yeah. This is a different sister. No, no, it's not one of the twins. Oh. Yeah. It's the one that's all Elizabeth the same Olsen. Emily. It's Scarlet Witch. Yeah, it's Emily, I think. Emily? I don't think it's Emily. I... I'm pretty sure it's Elizabeth. Oh, yeah, Elizabeth. My bad. I got the East yeah. ones mixed up. Yeah, you're right. Uh, Detroit. Yeah. Uh, Blade Runner. I Blade haven't seen Runner. it yet. That was on my list too. You I guys, that. you told me it was good. I didn't mean uh, it's worth wait, the Craig time. It? It's worth the time. We I talked about this on a previous. I forgot. Yeah, we yeah, saw, I, forgot. About I just this. love that Craig has seen a, mo- a popular blockbuster that me and Andrew. No, we haven't yet. yet. It's just, just. It's about freaking time, man. It's got to be first time right? for everything. Yeah. <laughs> uh, my next one would be The Darkest Hour. Oh, Just because Gary Oldman is the man. I love Gary Oldman, and I like he plays um he's uh, Churchill. Yes, I love Churchill as well. I like seeing Churchill portrayed. I'm always or, yes or, or, portrayed. Yes, <laughs> not portrayed. That portrayed. <laughs> Never betrayed. The alternate yes. World War Two history where Churchill gets betrayed. Yes, yes. Scott. Uh, and then <laughs> we end up with a with a Crisis on Earth X DC movie yeah oh, oh because churchill got got betrayed kind of okay with this <laughs> so my next one is geostorm oh you want to see that? just really it i don't know i've liked all the other kind of natural disaster movies and i'm hoping it's kind of like uh, the day after tomorrow i i don't think it I was almost agree with you except they've gone too far with them <laughs> see i've 
Like after I haven't seen San Andreas, but it looked like it was. I, I haven't seen top. that one yet either. Yeah. But mainly yeah. because The Rock was in it, and I was going through a little period where I was like, "This fucking guy is in everything." Yeah, that was last year. He was yeah. in everything. He was last two everything. Years. This, year he, this year he calmed down a little bit, but not a lot. <laughs> He's oh god. <laughs> and I don't blame him. He's making that money. He's the that's yeah. the highest paid actor. Yeah, he's he's Hollywood. making making that rock. Yep. Uh, so the next one I have is downsizing. Oh yes, I forgot about that. Eh. That looks great. That looks hilarious. I love Matt Damon. I'll, Would I'll you watch guys pretty get much downsized? anything with Matt Damon. What'd you say? Would you get downsized? Would I? Yeah. I feel like if I got downsized, I'd just be normal size. I would be like Scott sized. Is that a fat? That would joke? be my downsized. You say is that a fat yes. joke? Yes, it is. I'm allowed. That's our word. You don't get to use that word. I'm that's a, our I'm word. Offended. Uh, this is not a heavily Craig, liberal. Would you would you downsize? <laughs> have I, you seen the trailer for it yet? No, I have not. Okay. Well, the concept is that like this, it's in a world where you can get shrunk, like you, like people can get shrunk down, and that's so they they opt to get downsized. And what you can do is you trade like the money you have for this downsized lifestyle because you get so much more. Like right. So, so get, like their like hundred thousand dollar house will become like 1.2 million or something like that. Because yeah. they're miniature people now, right? So they can eat like like one bite of a fry and be good. Because they're like the size of ants, uh, okay. right? And yeah. then they have to go on like vacations because they just get put in a shoebox <laughs> kind yeah. of thing because that's all the room they have to take. And it's like, so that's the concept, but it's a comedy, right? So it's, uh, okay. It, okay. what's his name? Who's the main guy? Matt Damon. Damon. Oh. Matt Damon. Matt Damon's the main guy? I'm pretty sure he is. Okay, I'm gonna look to it Google. Up. I'm going to look it up. Okay, Craig's looking it up. Yes. See, it, Who's the, I didn't. I, I didn't see much else. about I it. it was so comedian. I thought he was comedian. I thought he was. I thought he was like co-starring in it. No, I'm pretty but sure he's the main guy. I might be like blanking on it though now, because like, I only saw the trailer once. So. Or downsizing. Sorry, is the name of the movie. Yes. What did we say before? Downsized. Oh it's yeah. Downsizing. Okay, my bad. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, Christopher Waltz, Hong Chow. Such big names. <laughs> there are a lot of. Jason Sudeikis is in it. Maybe that's who I was thinking. Is that who you're thinking? I think that's who I was th thought was the star. Maybe. Kristen Wiig. Yeah. Maybe I don't want to see this movie. <laughs> you... I always, my feelings for her always go up and down. Yeah. Just, like Sometimes I like her, and then sometimes I'm like, oh, you're, so, you're being annoying today. Okay, no, <laughs> leave me alone. I'm like, go away. <laughs> Because sometimes she just goes too weird, and I'm just like, oh, yeah. you, can't, you can't go full like, weird. Like when she plays um, What's-Her-Face on um, Zoolander 2. Yes. Yeah, it's just, like, too far. I'm just like... Now she... Uh, what the fuck are you talking about, One bitch? or two. Just, like, one or two. I Like, I get it. You're an 11, but bring it down to, like, a... Bring it down to a 9, please. Four. Bring it down to a four, please. <laughs> four, four. Four works, too. And the last movie I have on my list is Bright. Which one was Bright? Uh, that's the Netflix oh, it's movie the coming, Will Smith out. One coming out. Yeah. Right. Or, or I guess yeah. I guess by the time this drops, it'll it have come out. out. Yeah, I think it's already actually. Is. No, it's uh, December twenty second. Oh, okay. My bad. My bad. Yeah. But for people who are listening, it's yes. already dropped. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm excited to to finally get to that. Yeah, so I'm curious about that one too. I forgot because they've that. been advertising it fucking forever. Yeah, it's. I apologize long. to the listeners this week. I have been cussing quite a bit today. Yeah. It's been a we long have, week. We've got the E rating. I feel like one of these yeah. days we might have to put like a disclaimer at the beginning. Yeah. E Ward, we're going to swear a lot. Every once in a while, <laughs> Andrew gets on an F train and. <laughs> it's not just you. Won't I, do, be I drop back a lot of just random Fs as a descriptive word for no good reason. <laughs> I'm hoping one of these days Craig, Craig's going to drop an F bomb. No chance. I'm too professional. Damn it, man. <laughs> just in case a future employer hears this. Yeah. My backup I'll career is in radio, man. I'd hire you. I don't want to cut hair. <laughs> Come on, man. Unless you're looking Take for somebody for to cut to record your uh, commercial, your radio commercials full time. We'll see. I'll talk. We'll talk after. Yeah, maybe we should talk more about movies right now. That's probably a good <laughs> idea. Or what we, movies we move on did you guys absolutely liked? love? I yes. feel like a lot of these are going to be the same. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Since we're, we're gonna, gonna check them off as we go through. Yeah. All right. Because so we're not gonna go too too in depth. Everybody, do you, listeners, we're not going super in depth for any of these. Because we've talked about them all. 
Yes, we have talked about most of these before. There are a couple that we haven't gone too in depth into before, but and we're, we're, we're not going too in depth today. We're just going to kind of touch on a few of them and maybe and go a little in depth into Power Rangers. And, and <laughs> spoiler Ooh. alert, we're going to leave one for last. Yeah. It's War of the you, Planet of the Apes. You guys didn't get to see it, I but I. Uh, <laughs> you guys didn't get to see it, but I raised my eyebrows very suggestively at the at the camera. Ooh, yeah. ooh. Yeah. Wait till you see that. As long picture. as it wasn't seductively. No, nope, suggestively. 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 Maybe it's a little bit of both. Yeah, it might have been. Ooh. It might have been. I can never really tell. I can't switch it off. See. <laughs> this has gone it's off the rails. On to movies. Would you guys like me to go first? Yes. Yeah, tell us what your yes. favorite. Because I feel shortest. I feel like. Uh, <laughs> Okay, so my favorite. Okay, now I have to give this. Oh, not your favorite. Your favorites. Okay, like so the, ones the movies you like the that most I have on my list: Guardians of the Galaxy two. Yes, Ragnarok, checked off. Got obviously. it. Obviously, Logan. Obviously, Justice obviously. League. Yes. Obviously. obviously, yes. Lego Batman. Obviously. Yes. Let's talk about that one for a minute. Okay. Yes. Um, that that is the only Batman movie. Well, nope. Yeah, that's the only Batman movie I've ever seen. You know what? I stand by that. I, I can accept that. Okay. I wish you would watch the rest, but it is still amazing. <laughs> uh, we'll get to that eventually. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it is a good one for Craig to have seen because he gets little references to all the other ones. So he gets I every single the references one. to the other ones. Well, th they're pretty easy to get. Yeah, <laughs> pop, you get it from a trailer. Because Batman's <laughs> gigantically in pop culture, so you know. <laughs> yeah, he kind of sticks out. He gets parodied a lot. I'm sure it's happened on... I don't know if yeah. Family Guy's done it a lot or not, but... I'm sure something here and there yeah. there are a lot of yeah. references adam to west. adam west as batman <laughs> yeah well because like, adam west was on it ex may you rest in peace exactly <laughs> but that movie was awesome it was really good i like how meta it kind of was uh like kind of yeah. like self 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 what's the actualization word? no self-referential oh. Yes. Self-referential, oh, is that the word yes, I'm looking for? Yes, that's the word you're looking for. And you kind of like refer joke to on yourself. Yeah, 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 you be able to like criticize yourself a little bit. And I like that they picked on the Batman, like a little bit of the Batman stuff. And they like kept the true to the Lego theme. Yes, I, uh, that's a very it, good it point kept, too. Yeah. It was well aligned with the uh, with the Lego movie, I yeah, thought. Yeah, and they, they, and they play very good homages to both. Like, uh, they don't like lean too heavily into either way. Like, you don't feel way too much like, oh, this is just a Lego world. Yes, no, because I, I Lego like the, it's, it's a total, total joke. Batman, yeah, especially because they bring in all like Lego, Lego everything. everything. Yeah, that's that's what I enjoyed about it too. Because it was just a little bit of a man. We're done already. Yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah. Anyways, saw so next <laughs> week's episode. I had no time. <laughs> I uh, okay, so how great this bike is. <laughs> Lego Batman. Um, Hello, then, secret camera. I love that. I love that line so much. <laughs> Michael Michael Sarah was a good choice. He was a very good choice. Yeah, um, it, was, it was good. I felt like they did pretty good choice for everybody. Yes, I, I like Will Arnett's Batman. Yeah, that's it, true. It was pretty. I enjoyed it. I'm not a big fan of most. Um, like cartoon movies, uh, but that one, like I really liked the Lego movie, so I had to watch obviously the Lego Batman. Obviously, I had to watch any Batman. But I went with my mom to see that movie. Nice. I went with my see, parents that's a good too. Mom movie, yeah, like it's a good. Family I, we went movie. on. It's we the went most on family, family Batman family movie, I think. Yeah, we went on Family Day. <laughs> that's yeah, as a, right? as a family. Yeah, because yeah, it was out in February. Yes. Yeah, it was a Valentine's Day movie. Yep. Uh, okay, so Lego Batman movie was on my list. Then I have nice. uh, Kingsman: The Golden Circle. Yes. I have, yes. Nice. I just uh, watched that. That just got added to my list. Uh, which was the, the Kingsman movies just blow my mind that they're actually good. I like, like how like I like that they go all the way. Like they're just like we're not even like we're not going to pretend that we're like slightly refined. realistic. We are we are just straight balls to the wall crazy people. Yes, and we talk. They, they about... kind of strike me as a comic book movie. Well, they are without the comic. Oh, they are a comic book. Yeah, they are. They're Mac okay. Miller actually. Oh. Okay. Is it Mac, Max Miller? I don't. The guy, who, one of the Miller, one of the two Millers, maybe the Frank Miller. I can't remember, but yeah, it's a comic. It's based off okay. a comic book. It's um. Okay. I don't want to. I think it's maybe Dark Horse. Okay. But yeah, it is a comic book. It the comics are. That would make sense because I think uh, yeah. Frank Miller does uh, Sin City. Yeah. Or okay, maybe it was City. Frank Miller. Yeah. yeah. It's one of the. It was one of the Millers. Whatever it is. A, yeah. There's a Miller and then there's a Millar. Okay, like, it's so the over the yet. top, but at the same time, you're like, yeah. cool, I can sit through this. And, and anytime they, and they anyone can sing John Denver while standing on a landmine, it is my <laughs> With kind a Scottish of movie. accent? That is my kind of movie. <laughs> yes. Mark Strong. I 
That was my freaking most love that part guy. of that movie though was that was when they, they he'll he'll come back. I, I mean, hope they, they do. I they do they killed Colin Firth in the first one, so like yeah. if if they can bring him back from a bullet wound to the head, <laughs> I'm sure they can glue him back together somehow. That's true. I well, that'll be part of the like, ridiculousness of it. I hope that he kind of like just got out of the way somehow. I was hoping that he'd grab one of those guys. Like he headbutted the one dude. He could have like done some kind of maneuver yeah. with him or pull something. him on <laughs> yeah like use him as a shield yeah. like, <laughs> like I, I i just liked mark strong in in that character as merlin he like did, it was just... i agree yeah he was plus was really as as craig mentioned him singing country road yes my favorite thing in the movie i think might have been elton john though <laughs> yes <laughs> where he's just an over the top diva badass yes and then like <laughs> like i like a that she kidnapped him just to you know, have just to job. have him <laughs> but he's not like even a little bit like he's like obviously he's a little bit beaten down but he's still like fuck you bitch like and i like love yeah. that <laughs> and then at the end like he helps kick ass and i'm like i uh, obviously wasn't real elton john doing the jump kick but i like, I like that, that they went back to his junkie days too yeah i like that like, he when he used cool to when he used too. to be a cokehead he's like yeah. yeah let's make fun of it i'm elton john man. exactly like, I'm I'm worth, like that he my hair is worth more than you he guys. has nothing yeah. to lose at this point either because well, you yeah. can't exactly. really say that he's at the peak of his popularity like well, he, i would agree with that yeah that's yeah. true but like the sun is not going down on him though yeah it's like his <laughs> his reputation is not going anywhere thanks for laughing craig thanks <laughs> was that like a english english like no he has a song don't let the sun go down don't on let me the sun go down i'm on not me. the biggest elton don't fan. let that's the awesome. sun elton john's go career down after down this was me. like a candle in the wind Ooh, not that was, not that quite as good. good not quite as good no more sad songs. <laughs> we'll save those for Saturday night. Oh, that's all right that's for it. fighting. That's 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 all that's the it. that's you all win, the man. that's you all win. the Elton John references I've got. <laughs> that's good. I was out of this game long ago. <laughs> <laughs> I was reading my notes. I was like, I like that they had Harry with the memory loss, and that Harry had that second bar fight scene where he couldn't do it. <laughs> where they they make it seem like he's going to, and then he's like, nope. <laughs> Which Can't I, was handle like, it. I was down for it to go either way. I was down for him to be like completely back, but Especially, I was really happy they decided not to because I was like, yeah, that's cool. <laughs> I like that he kept having like the the flashback like acid trips with yeah, the butterflies. Was like, ooh. Yeah. <laughs> I was a little like shocked when he shot the one guy, but apparently he was right. So I was like, oh, okay. I feel like that just disappeared. I was like, okay, yeah. cool. Just moved and then when on. they make they make kind of make fun of his uh, his missing eye, and they give him the glasses that are blocked off. Yeah, I was like, oh, that works better okay. than the patch. I like that better than the patch. I wouldn't want to wear a patch all day. Yeah, it makes yeah. it easier to be the actor. I thought it was a weird way of like that they stared at his eye for a second. Yeah, though. I was like, well, you guys got you guys really showing off that stare. CGI. Yeah. <laughs> like yeah. that's all it was. It was like, oh yeah, look, look at this. We covered up his eye. Like in Justice League, when tell? they put in Justice League when they put Cyborg in the jumpsuit. Yeah. Or in Smallville when they have Brainiac just be a guy because it's cheaper to have an yep. actor than it is to cover him up in shit. That's my favorite thing to pick out in movies and TV shows is where they're trying to cut and save Were money on like effects yeah. or something. You say lazy, I say because it's expensive. I can't like. Oh yeah. How long it takes me to make our stupid little graphics just <laughs> stupid, and I'm like, and that's not even good. Like so, the people it, it literally making, like, takes real me a couple. Yeah, it's like it takes me a couple hours to sync our voices up. <laughs> for like putting the video together for these things so and like i can't imagine like trying to cgi of like yeah images that like all connect so i i'll i get it like I get i'll, I'll concede yeah i will concede to them like that's why i never complain about special effects that's one thing you'll never hear me complain too much about like because i i understand it costs a lot and they might be put more money into either marketing or into paying Robert Downey Jr. to be in a movie. <laughs> like, or giving it to the Forgot to Grow Up podcast so that we talk we about it. We 100% approve of that. We take we, all donations yeah, we take bribes. free money. And bribes, yes. <laughs> we accept we are bribes. We take, if we you guys want corporate us, chills we, if you yes. will give us money. <laughs> We're not proud. Out. So I've only got a handful more on my list. Yeah, let's get back on let's get it. Let's get real to quick. This. I have this has been a bad episode. I have War for <laughs> yes, the Planet so of the Apes. All over the place. I have okay. Dunkirk. Yep. I have uh Blade Runner twenty forty nine. I wanna which, get to that. Which is the only movie uh -huh. you two have not seen. Did you see the first one? I did not see the original Blade okay, Runner. Okay, so see we talked about this the last I've time. I've seen the first one. You haven't seen I have it? seen the first one. Oh. See? I'm, Bam. Now, I'm, now, I'm now the only one out. <laughs> 
Oh I feel God, like that's the reason why that's... we didn't see it in theaters, though. And because you, you saw Maybe the... you did. Because well, I had seen the I first wanted one, to and s- so I wasn't super curious that I wanted to go sit in a theater to see it. I wanted to see it in theaters for the effect. Because I yeah, looked I've at it like Tron blown Legacy. Like that. Yeah, no, I get what you mean. I just and I really like Tron Legacy in theaters, so I figured it was going to yes, be... Yes, Tron. I figured Tron. it was going to be the same, and it was. It was yeah. worth it. And then That's the good. only other one on my list is more of a curiosity thing than anything else, and I enjoyed it. Suburbicon. <laughs> I, I totally forgot that, that came out too. And we've talked about this, and I'm, I'm actually still seen a it since we started recording. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> there's still uh, yeah, probably. Poster. I'm excited to see it. <laughs> there is there's still a poster up at the Queensway Cineplex uh, beside the Gardner Expressway in Etobicoke for Suburbicon. <laughs> and every time I really? go past it, I'm like, "What are you guys doing?" <laughs> yeah, like that movie got yanked. <laughs> yeah. So I out of a out of curiosity, I took the uh, the the list of movies uh, <coughs> domestic gross so far this year and i had to go all the way back to number 132 to find it <laughs> really yeah suburban con made was a lot of five million dollars <laughs> that's crazy. Fuck. and that's it was crazy. out for two three weeks it opened on on uh october 27th and it closed on november 16th well they're gonna make 24 dollars when i buy it <laughs> <laughs> they already made eight bucks from me <laughs> They, they're not getting my money because I have no <laughs> idea what this movie is. <laughs> I liked it. It was good. And that's why it's on my list. But it was... I, I didn't want it to overshadow Blade Runner. Nice. So it's a it's a curiosity thing more than anything else. Uh, Scott, what's left? What okay. ha- what did I not mention that's well, on you your list? You didn't mention John Wick Chapter 2. No, because I didn't see that. Which was a great sequel. Yep. Did you good see movie. the first one, uh, Craig? <laughs> no. I'm just curious. This isn't nope. one of those movies that I'm going to be like... <gasps> No, no, I did not see it. Okay, you should get to it. They're good. Uh, they're fun action movie. Uh, the first yeah, one's a little in sad. The, <laughs> in the second one, it there's about 19 kills per second. Yes, it's pretty awesome. Like you have to be down for like kill murder Bill style, straight death. up murder. Yeah, like just murder the whole time. It's gung death through. for the sake of death is what yeah, it is. Exactly, and I that's why I liked it though because it's fun and they have a lot of fun with it. And I'm glad they didn't kill a dog in this one. Yes. <laughs> Ooh, spoiler that for the pro- first one, eh? They just kill bitches. Uh, Craig, it happens in the first minutes, like of I'm, the movie. It's I'm what the whole movie is based. The whole on. movie is based. Like the first one is There's, entirely it's no spoiler. based. It's, 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 it's vengeance. Plot. It's vengeance movie. That's that's what like, this guy's all about. He was retired. Some punk ass douchebag kills his kills it. He's a retired hitman. Yeah. And he's like, okay, the well, this man. means war. Let's go fucking kill everybody. And that's exactly what he does. Is yep. he kills everybody and gets his car back what if i tell you ted danson's in it well, will you go I'm see it then it. he's the last person you see at the end of both movies that's fine <laughs> it's it's right after the credits roll <laughs> yeah yeah he, i don't think he gets credit for it though and no, it might not be ted dancing <laughs> but <laughs> it might just be the credit screen no way yeah, yeah, yeah. it might be it's possible I, he's, he's changed so much in his old age uh, he definitely does look different no he looks him. exactly the same with white hair <laughs> but I mean, yeah. well no I uh, give or take I, I think same through here I, same yeah. through his eyes it and is, his cheekbones I think he looks I think he looks fairly different between current Ted Danson and Cheers that's, Ted Danson yeah, that's fair. He, well the glasses I help. was thinking the, Becker the glasses and the, right the glasses Cheers. and the creases yeah, he's, yeah. he looks Becker? really young and juicy. No, I've heard. I, maybe I did watch. It. I don't think I did. That's that. where he's a doctor. Nope, didn't watch it. Yeah, it's good. It's he's like if it the original. Was, if house. it wasn't Doc, what if I with, told you Ted Danson was uh, Billy Ray Cyrus? <laughs> it was Ted Danson. I know. That's why I said it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it was a joke. <laughs> no, it's pretty good. It's from the nineties. He was a uh, nineties. He's, like, he's like a house style, but it's like he's like house. Like he's a dick doctor, but he's. But he's like a family doctor, and it's like sitcom, so it's uh, pretty funny. I liked it. I used to watch it on like TBS. I'll will stick with Doc. Okay. <laughs> I'm just a suggestion if you need something to get to. I know you don't like watching stuff. I know you have to buy everything on DVD first. <laughs> yep, yep. <laughs> uh, but the next stuff on my list, I've got Logan as well. But we've talked about that before. But I want to talk about Power Rangers for just a couple minutes. Yes, I watched yes. That Not on last my list. night. I Opening last weekend, night. I was there. And I gotta say, I was going into it a little skeptical, and I loved the fact that it was more story than action. 
I second that. I love what they did with the mythology of. Like, I like that they actually yeah. built a mythology because Power yeah. Rangers. It obviously wasn't. A it kids wasn't just. Show. Oh yeah. By the way, we need Power Rangers. Yeah, exactly. They had a little bit of a mythology. They had a background to it. They built up to it. They built some stakes into it. It was a slightly longer movie, but it was not too long. But it was long enough no. that you were able to build some like character time, and I like that they didn't just try to jump right into it. They like they had to struggle for an Considering hour and the a action, half. <laughs> yeah, the action scene was twenty minutes, and at that point, they just learned how to morph. Yep, they just got then they stuff. just learned how to ride the Zords, and yep. they accidentally figured out how to make the Megazord. I don't think and they, they won. They, they barely. <laughs> yeah, it was a it was a total fluke. They're I like, knew oh, that shit. was gonna happen too when I saw the thing. Uh, Floor, the ground get opened up for the crystal show and I'm like oh damn yeah. they're all getting pushed I, into it I <laughs> would have liked to see the Megazord like be exactly the same yeah. as like when we were kids I that's one thing I didn't like about the Megazord it was a little too morphy it didn't morph a little too much whereas I, I liked in the originals that you could see the fact that it still had each of the individual yeah. animals that, still yeah. into it yeah and like that's that, that literally all it did was complaint. like bend and yeah. like fuse together as opposed to like just become one amorphous blob robot yeah it looked very transformy that would be the and complaint i uh, did like the cockpit that they all sat in and, I you, did like and that too. they never reference how the fuck they got from being in one thing to another and how that cockpit was made they never even talk about it i liked that in the tv show yeah and then just to be like stuck on someone's shoulder yeah. or whatever like it was kind of weird I liked the, it was interesting that they were each individual yeah. things instead and the, it was more realistic okay. in that sense too like i liked it I also I just liked the whole thing. It was yeah, it was fun. a good movie. It was shiny. Yeah, it was shiny. Which at first I thought I wouldn't like, but I kind of did. It was fun. Like it made more sense the way they did, it. like yeah. the way they explained it throughout the movie and how they had to build up to earning it. I was like, okay, this is why it's so shiny. But I like it, and I like that the kids were a little bit like stupid, like <laughs> about it. Like they were yeah. very teenage. Like I think they're all older than teenagers, or at least I hope they are uh, in real life, but. In the movie, they're supposed to be teenagers, which sucked. But uh, they're still talking about making sequels, and I'm psyched to see I'm what so direction okay they take. That. Yeah, like I was very, I was like you, I was a little skeptical. Like I hadn't watched it yet till like last night because I was really skeptical because I didn't okay. hear great things about it. But then I freaking loved it. It was probably like honestly, it's probably one of my top. Like after all the like superhero movies this year, it's probably um, still in the top ten for me because I really enjoyed it because I yeah. just had such a fun time. I was just sitting there, just like every time a little thing would pop up from the original, I'd be like, <gasps> Podges, yay! yay! Frida, yeah! Gold thing, yeah! And then when they when they actually put when they actually put uh, the original Tommy and Kimberly in there, I was like, <gasps> Oh my goodness! Unnecessary, but I'm so happy. <laughs> See, that's when I'm the happiest, when it's unnecessary, but you do it anyways, just to make us yep. happy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's all it is, is for us, the fan. <laughs> exactly, and I felt that this was a very, like, grown-up version, too, of the, like, for grown-ups version of the Power Rangers, because I don't yep. think I could get back to watching the original ones ever again until I I, I did it, like, last year or the year before, and... Is it tough? They're... Kind of. It's yeah. it's good to put on in the background and just coast right through. I've been thinking about it maybe rewatching just the movies, because I did like the, the yeah. at least the first movie. I remember like see that that one doesn't even have anything to do with the TV show. Maybe I'm so the like, movie but it, no, the first one it's it's like a different universe, same Power Rangers, different universe. Uh, okay. Like the one with uh, Ivan Ooze. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, about. that one. It's same Rangers, different universe. Oh, because it, it's not sense. it's. It's sponsored by like the movie yeah. production company as opposed to the, uh, gotcha. as opposed to like Saban or Saban or whatever that, it was. That makes a lot more sense. But I still remember I kind of liked that. Like I liked it as a kid, but I'm curious to go back to it because I remember thinking the cars were badass. Yeah, Turbo <laughs> Power Rangers Turbo. Turbo. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I just I really enjoyed it. I honestly had such a fun time watching it last night. I like that uh, the kid from Everybody Loves Chris was in it, and he was enjoyable, and. I kind Who of, was the 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 African American guy? The, no, he wasn't. That wasn't him. Is it not him? Nope. No, I'm I'm pretty sure it's not. I, I might be just mixing my people. Well, now I'm just, now I'm gonna feel racist. Yeah, Scott. Do you think <laughs> yeah. do you think everybody looks the same, Scott? No, I just thought that he was the grown up version of that guy. I thought you guys had mentioned that, so that's why I thought you guys. No, said we that talked. To me. No, he was no, in the talked. last week's episode. 
we talked about him being in uh, that airport movie. Airport movie. See, that's where I got it mixed yes, up. Yes, he I was just, in. I thought that that's minors. who you had said it was. So now I'm curious who I thought this guy was, though. <laughs> R.J. <laughs> Siler is his name. He looked familiar. Well, he I was didn't... in. Nothing. Me and Earl and the Dying Girl. It was a movie from not too long ago. A uh, War Machine, which came out this year. Uh, oh, that, really? Yeah. That came out this year? Yep. Add that to my that list. Sec- I like that. Second Chances. No. And that's it, other than things he played himself in. There's no, like, TV shows? Nope. Nope. Oh, now I feel terrible. I, I thought oh, I sorry, it. Vice Principals and Scream the TV series, which comes out. He's in season three next year. Yeah, no, I didn't watch that either. So you I'm, haven't, I'm you just haven't, completely uh, baffled by where this, where, I, why, I, well, I know why I thought it was him, but now I'm confused as to why I thought he looked like his, him. His <laughs> face does kind of. Okay, well, that makes me feel a little better. The haircut, maybe? <laughs> let's, just, let's just move past this. Yeah, 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 yeah this is getting bad. The next movie. Movie. <laughs> so the next thing on my list was Guardians of the Galaxy 2. Yeah. Um, yep. As we all talked about, we talked about that a few times, I'm sure. Uh, the one thing I have to say is why why did they have to kill Yondu? Yondu. Yondu. <laughs> that's what that's what I complained about that movie. <laughs> it may have been it may have been your father boy, but it wasn't your, your daddy. daddy. It's like that guy lost two dads in one movie. That's emotional. Yeah, really. Oh, like, yeah, really. <laughs> Especially when one of them's Michael Rooker yeah. without the sunglasses. I love Michael But Rooker. blue face. Just... He had the blue face, he's never, but no he's sunglasses. Never, he's always one or the other, or both. Never, never. <laughs> a little bit none. of each, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so Guardians of the Galaxy 2 was great. I did see Wonder Woman, and I did enjoy it. It was a great first female solo movie. Uh, I do feel like I did get a lot of, like, crazy hype for the fact that it was very cliche for a superhero movie still. Like, it was very by the numbers, I thought. They didn't, like, they didn't break any ground. Well, they broke some ground, the fact that she's a woman. Okay, um, but besides the obvious. Well, there was a couple good things that I enjoyed. Uh, you know, like, she didn't play a, a damsel in distress at all, because... Is that her character they, 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 at all? No, it's not, which is why... No, I, she's... I'm just saying that happens no, to Wonder Woman the opposite. Lot. Yeah, it's, but they make... But, um, she's, but she still does hook up with the guy, so there was that kind of yeah, forced... Yeah, but he, he played a little bit of the damsel, but yeah, I agree. That was a yeah. little bit forced, and... It was like, that's what I mean. Like, it had the cliche romance. It had the cliche battle at the end. The cliche somebody died. You know what I mean? Like, mm, maybe I won't watch it. Well, the thing that gets me about get the whole Wonder Woman in the DCEU, yeah. does she know how to fly or not? That's still up in the air, I think. Because she totally flew up in the sky, yep. but then she has yet to fly it's since. It's very unclear if she's jumping Be- really far. Even or if she's I know flying. it's the invisible jet. That's not she, true. She rides the invisible hoverboard in this hoverboard. in these movies. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Before you guys, well, you're invisible me, to you us. Can't, so. Yeah, exactly. You can't see the gigantic smile on my face as I say these <laughs> ridiculous things. Well, we know you didn't see it. But anyways, that was my only like. I I still enjoyed it. It's just I felt that people ignored the fact that it was very just another superhero movie, in my opinion. Like, that just happened to be female-led. But I get how that would be bigger for women and why women really enjoyed it and more power to them. But you can't... I just want to see a fat superhero. Give me a that's, fat superhero that isn't John that's Favreau. What, that's, what I was leading up to. that's what I was leading up to. As I want a fat superhero as well. Or a big bone superhero. Like, that's our fat. word, that's what, man. I know. I, I retracted it. I'm sorry. It came out. I don't just, care. I'm just going with what fat. you're saying. It's like when you're... <gasps> Podcast over, we're disbanding. <laughs> you, can't, you can't see me. Ragnarok just happened. <laughs> well, that's a good transition into something that's at the bottom of my list. But yeah, we could talk about the Ragnarok, because I enjoyed that as well. <laughs> we talked about it. Yeah, we talked about that a lot. But, uh, Dead horse. What was I going to mention? Oh, all I want to say is anybody who hasn't seen that but doesn't feel like going to see theaters, you should just watch Taco Atiti's What We Do in the Shadows, because that was great. That was, it was that basically come out the this same year, movie. But that's just another thing. Uh, but the other things on my list is I did see Spider-Man Homecoming and I did like it honestly this new Spider-Man is my favorite this was my favorite Spider-Man movie um, Michael Keaton was a great bad guy uh, and I like the they I like that it wasn't like a city wide or like a worldwide like um, 
like problem crisis. or like a thank you that was exactly the word i was looking for like crisis at the end it was more a contained small it was about just peter parker having to get his shit together and like having a you know it was more one-on-one -on -one personal kind of deal as opposed to like oh he's gotta save the whole planet because there's a big beam in the sky and da, da, da. it wasn't anything like that so i liked it i feel spider-man was a lot more a unique story than even wonder woman was in my opinion more plot wise i would at least say um but yeah then i had kingsman as we already just talked about uh the foreigner with jackie chan which i've talked about before but wanna i just want to bring it up because i did really enjoy that it was a fun jackie chan movie even though he's kind of a bad guy that's the only thing i'm a little confused about too he's kind of the bad guy but kind of not it's weird um but yeah Peter he's a lovable bad guy well yeah because his daughter gets killed so that he goes on like a revenge rampage so you're kind of like okay well, you feel for him but he's still he's still doing a, re a revenge rampage on kind of like not innocent people but he's he doesn't know exactly who's guilty so he's making his way through some people so it's it was as long as he's not John wicking it and killing everyone. No, no, he. I don't think he actually ends up killing anybody. He just does a lot of like kind of just, kung fu. Just knocks everyone out. Does his, yeah a lot of Jackie Chan stuff, but he also like he blows up a couple things. Oh shit. Yeah, so it's like yeah, that's where it's like oh it's a little gray visits. area. Yeah, but it's still a good movie. I really enjoyed it. It's a little bit like more complex than I'm describing too, because it has to do with like the Irish. Public army, Republican army. Yep, you you were saying that before. Yeah, and so it's a little I bit more complicated and in depth, and I feel like I didn't quite get all that the first time watching it. Um, but yeah, it's good, and people should definitely check it out because I think it was one of the good ones this year. And Thor Ragnarok was, and as we've already talked about, and then Justice League, which we've talked about a lot, um, but I really enjoyed. It's obviously not Oscar caliber, but I want to get to it a second time, hopefully before it's completely out of theaters. But I think it's already gone. But who knows? I don't think so. Uh, it's hard to say. I don't know if Star Wars has kicked it out yet. Or well, let me see if it's closed while I'm while well, you're, while you're talking, talking about Justice League. Justice League. I hope it's not. That's out. the last one on my list. I hope. Hey, man. I hope it's still in theaters so I can get to it again while I'm off this next week. Uh, but we'll see. Uh, but I really enjoyed it. It was probably one of the more fun movies I had. Like one of the most fun movies I enjoyed watching this year. Yes. Especially in theaters. Uh, it was just a good time. Um, but yeah, and then the last thing I would say would be Star Wars, but I think we still have to get through Andrew's list before we start talking about Star Wars. So you guys pretty much decimated my list. You yeah, took 13 that things was, off. That was kind of expected by the time we got yeah. to it. I thought you were yeah. going to interject more about my list. <laughs> nope, nope, it's cool. We, we've already kind of covered our opinions on most of the movies. That's very true. Well, did uh, we miss all, anything? Uh, all I've got is Murder on the Orient Express, which we've covered in things that you guys want to see. Yeah. Um, I've got it just because I mean I'm not a horror dude, but it was pretty good. Yeah, okay. I, that's one of those ones that I'm not sure if I want to get to, but I'm kind of curious about. So like I might eventually, but it's up in the air. Uh, then I've got <laughs> only know. the brave, which I've mentioned on the previous yes. podcast, is I keep a to get to that. flipping amazing movie. Yes. Yes. Uh, Beauty and the Beast because it tugs at my heartstrings, and <laughs> my mother cried when we went to see it. So Aww, it, Mama it's super cute. Uh, then I've got Kong, Skull Island. I want to get to which, that still. Yep, which uh, was was a really good movie. I mean, I had a few issues with it here and there, but you're going to get that with every movie. Was it kind of fun? It was, it was. Okay. It was action-packed, but with just enough story to go in it. Oh, okay, cool. It, has a story. it wasn't all meat, yeah. but it you know it had some good, some good toppings. Nice, okay. It's good side dishes. Yeah. yeah. I like it. Um, Brie Larson is gorgeous. I'm just going to go on record saying that. Yes. <laughs> and uh, John C. Riley is in it. And I know, he's, I like, like him in it. Yeah. He, was, he was the one thing I was concerned about before mm -hmm. I saw it. I was going to be like, eh, maybe he's, gonna he's a little... Oh, he's going to be over the top. Yeah, he's going to be But he plays, he plays the character, like, amazing. I feel he does a great job when he's not around Will Ferrell. Will Ferrell. <laughs> yeah, when he's, yeah. Not, when he's in a movie not with Will Ferrell is when I like him the best to be honest because i think yeah. he just, he's a he does a pretty good job when he he's a pretty the funny guy when he's not forcing it to be an 11 funny you know what the I mean? first thing i ever saw john c Riley in was <laughs> chicago the the musical that would chicago probably be mine too then cause when I, I was like fucking nine no i would have been nine from like 10 or 11 yeah and i loved it i loved him you know mm -hmm. he did he did that role incredibly and then i started seeing him in will ferrell stuff and i was like ooh. Why are you in Talladega Nights, bro? Like, yeah. you're Mr. Cellophane. What are you doing? Yeah. I've got to rewatch the Fucking Amos. <laughs> I haven't seen that in forever. 
Catherine Zeta-Jones. Which leaves me with one movie left. Oh, damn. Yeah. We really did take everything. Yawning. Um, and uh, Star Wars. Star Wars. I saw that today, which is like a week and a half ago for our listeners. Um, <laughs> so it doesn't sound like Scott waited until New Year's Eve. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> Scott, why'd you wait so long? Why did you wait so long to go? See? How did you make it so long? Especially since I'm telling everybody I go on Christmas every year. Um, anyways, I really enjoyed it today. Uh, we're not going to get too in depth, are we, guys? Today, we're not. Already... No, not. It's yeah. it's none. I think uh, like our policy is one week. But, but we'll the Star Wars is the one movie you don't want to be the you don't want to be the guy that spoiled it. Yeah, Han so, yeah, dies. I'm not gonna... <laughs> Your movie off. Craig's always a movie off with some of these facts of this. What did you say? I said Han, Han dies. Han oh. <laughs> yeah, no. No, Han's already dead. Um, but Last Jedi, I really enjoyed it today. I probably had the most fun. I was telling you guys before, I probably had the most fun in the theater out of everybody there. I was with a bunch of people. Most The average age was middle-aged, and I was below that. But obviously, there was no kids in the theater because it was a VIP theater. Um, but I definitely was the one who enjoyed it the most because I was the only one who was like, uh, uh, was not visible, uh, audible in the whole audience, making like audible noises. Of, <gasps> oh, <gasps> yes! <laughs> I did all those different things. I was enjoying myself and I loved it. And anybody who hasn't seen it should definitely go see it because it's great. Yeah. Yes. I, I concur. That's yes. all I have to say about that. Yes, if we don't want to get into I have, spo- I like have spoilers way more to say about spoilers. it. Yes, we all have a lot more to say. Anything about it. One thing I'll say, which isn't like very, sp- I get wouldn't say too spoilery, but um, if anybody's like hesitant to see it because some of the fan reactions, I would say ignore that and go see it, and then have your own opinion about exactly. it, like a normal person, <laughs> <laughs> like the um, old days. If you, if you like beautiful women, go see it because uh, Daisy Ridley is gorgeous. Even if you don't like beautiful women, and, go see it. And the late yes. Carrie Fisher, she looks great for an elderly lady, or an older. I think lady. I think it's weird that I, like I'm actually more attracted to her as an older woman than I was. No, I get it. I can see when she was bit. in the originals. The I original, don't like her voice. The, her hair. In the original, her hair just messed with me too much. I didn't. I feel like she voice. was just a super bitch when she was she's young. A little bit bitchy. <laughs> and she's, then she's in, the, in these ones, she's now. kind of been like, well, you know, I've. I had a kid. Like I had to. He's gone bad. He's the now. I just drink a little bit of wine and we're good. (laughs) She does seem like a wine mom. She definitely is a wine mom. She goes. She goes. uh, She goes fishing for that wine. I like that uh, her daughter also got a bigger role in this film, which is kind of a nice little something. I don't know. I just like that she did because I noticed when I was watching she did have a little bit more of a uh, what's the word prep. More upfront role, like you could see her a lot more because she was in the Force Awakens for like. Oh, oh, like a predominant role. That's the word I was looking for. Thank you. Predominant. I don't know why that was just, just completely missing. But yeah, she was a lot more predominant than she was in the last one. She had one scene in the last one. Here she was, like one of. I think you mean prominent rebels. I think prominence the better word. What what, did I not say that before? No, you said predominant. It's fine. Prominence the better word. Prominent, predominant. Are those not the same? No, they're not. They sound the same. I know they sound the same. Prominence, prominence, the word you want. Okay. Anyway, Anyways, the point is, it was a nice little thing, especially with uh, Carrie Fisher not being with us any longer. It's nice that her daughter might have R. a little R. bit of a, uh, yeah, uh, that her daughter might have a little bit of a role in the future once. Um, but yeah, it's great. Uh, and so were a lot of the movies we saw this year. But I think that brings us to the end of our list of 2017 movies i do believe guys the only other movie that occurred to me yes was psych the movie oh, oh my nice goodness TV. I, th- I didn't know we were going to do direct to tv movies it's a movie man you guys can bring that one up because uh, i feel like psych has a special spot in both your hearts especially yes, yes. it's somewhere in me i don't know if it's exactly in my we heart made it i like into it an but... event, andrew <laughs> we an went event. to the toronto premiere of That's psych true. the movie just because it was true. only well, yeah, just because it was being it was, it was, it was, it was being awesome. shown in my house. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't sure if like you said Toronto premiere. I'm like, yeah, could have been a as thing. far as I know, <laughs> that was the only showing of Psych the movie on Friday on the Friday night after it came out. 
in Toronto. If you guys out there don't like psych, you guys can suck it. I was hoping Craig was gonna harmonize with me there. I, my voice is not up to it tonight. I was gonna sing. I, I was gonna sing. With us. I was gonna <laughs> sing Elton John earlier too, but I just the voice is not. It's not there today. No, you, did you not have your tea today? <clears throat> I did have my tea today, oh, but I just should have had some extra. Shamamile. 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 Better. Better. Sha -la 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 -la. So are we gonna move on to W? Uh, I thought we weren't doing that because of how far out this Ooh. episode's gonna be. Welcome to mm, Welcome true. Behind the Curtain, listeners, where we talk oh. about show notes during the show. <laughs> yep. This episode is a, uh, a best, best of not us. A, a, a best of 2017, <laughs> and also your exclusive behind the scenes look. They always get a little bit of a behind the scenes. Yeah. The, of the, the making of Forgot to Grow Up. Where we forget what we talked about. Yes. I am a master of none. The <laughs> last man standing. I am not part of the circle, and I love Star Wars. I just covered everything I watched man, this week. Man, it's funny that go. you bring up the circle, because it made its way into my work conversation this week. But anyway, we weren't going to talk about our, that. Our lives are too synced up, man. That's scary. Yes, and we pretty much already talked about what I saw this week, which was Power Rangers and Star Wars. Star and Wars. Things that yeah. I think we've talked about everything I watched this week, too, because we've talked about Ted Danson. And we talked about <laughs> Star Wars, and that's pretty much it. Well, then I think the only thing we have left to say is everyone should go watch Becker, because uh, it's a great Ted Danson show. <laughs> Ted Danson's in it. <laughs> and that's all you should really need. Yes. Anyway. Happy New Year, everyone. Happy, Happy New, New Year, Year's everybody. last thing. Thanks for listening. <laughs>